<laughs> what's up guys welcome back to the supercars of london youtube channel now back in the uk it's gray it's gloomy it's a little bit wet i've got my windscreen wipers on uh, but i'm driving a 2018 ford fiesta st I've long awaited a drive in this car and for the next week I'm going to be using this to go back and forth to SB Race Engineering whilst I go and check out the work, the updates, everything in between that has been going on with my Lamborghini Murcielago. For the last two weeks I've been sunning it up in Los Angeles but it is now back to Aylesbury to SB Race Engineering. I have seriously missed that car. We will get on to more about some of the rele re revelations that have taken place up at SB Race Engineer. But I want to start this video talking about three things that I like about this car and one thing that I don't like about it. The first thing that I really like about this car is the driver engagement and the connectivity that I have to the car. The combination of the steering input with the flexibility of the clutch pedal and the brake pedal combine that with the gear stick and this is one of the greatest modern analog cars that I think has existed at 22 grand it gets to the point of it's not about how much money you spend on a car to get enjoyment out of it it's about how much enjoyment you can get out of spending a certain amount of money and it is an absolute bargain because the second thing I really like about it is the torque and the power 1.5 litre turbocharged EcoBoost producing 200 brake horsepower but it doesn't feel like a turbocharged car I can squirt my foot on the throttle now and overtake these two cars in an instant and thirdly combining all of that together with the seating position and the bucket seats putting all of these things together it's one of the coolest cars that I've driven in a long time now the only downside to this is the ride is a little bit too firm. I feel like if I was to go to a Starbucks and get a boiling hot drink, I wouldn't be able to drive it without spilling it. And seeing as it is quite a soft aesthetic appearance to the Fiesta ST, I feel like it could easily be an ST line, but it drives as harsh as an RS should. So that's the only sort of personality difference that I have with this car that I'm not enjoying as a daily driver. But other than that, the pros outweigh the cons on this thing. Let's get to SB, show you this car, and bring you guys an update on the Murcielago. There she is in all of her glory in a very special gray metallic paint, which is an optional extra. Now this Fiesta ST is 25,000 pounds on the road. And I believe M4 competitions are around 65,000 pounds. So double the price for one of them. Yes, it's expensive for a Fiesta, but I think that the value is justified. And I'm at SB Race Engineering now. Inside is my Lamborghini. It is not looking how I left it. The engine is still out but it feels so good to be back here and in the presence of the car. Whilst I've been away, and I've been away whilst I've owned supercars in the past, and yes, I miss them and want to drive them, but nothing quite like that car in there. I collected this car in the middle of August, and I've driven it twice properly since. We are now in almost mid October and these guys have still got it for another couple of weeks or so. I'm going to walk in, give you guys an update as to what is going on, see what these guys have found. The engine is out, it is on the floor and if you've never seen a Murcielago fully stripped out, well let's go and check it out. Here we go, the token orange Gallardo still here because uh, Lamborghini haven't specified exactly when the part is needed for this car. We've got an orange Diablo up there, the 488 Challenge race car is here. There is gonna be a separate video on this Lamborghini because something very special is happening to that. Stuart's over there working on cleaning an engine. I don't know what it is. Barry's over there tidying all of his tools up. What's going on over here? What's, what engine are you cleaning? It's a Ferrari 250. As in really, really expensive Ferrari? Yes, yeah. So this is the same engine you'd find in the 250 GTO. Nice. That's looking pretty mint. It's got to come up well, it's just been reboards, having new pistons and everything else. This is the gut of my Lamborghini, which is looking very, very sleek and good. Nardo Grey. I think it, even up there, 
still looks super sleek. And down here, this is the crane that actually took out my Gallardo engine when we replaced the headers, not these exact headers, but the headers on my Gallardo. And somewhere in here, this looks like the gearbox or all of the electrics to the e-gear. Here are the headers. The cats are off the car and the back box, the rear box is off the car as well because that is with Brook Race exhaust. So this crane actually removed the engine out of the Mercial Lago. And you can see how simple it is up here with everything missing. It is just a huge hole. These ladies and gentlemen are the very heavy stock cats for my Mercial Lago. And they are out and they are waiting to be collected by Brook Race Exhaust so that they can scan these in, scan the, I suppose, the dimensions more so than the design because what is gonna happen is they're gonna be just turned into straight pipes. There's the valves in there, but yeah, very heavy. So I'm gonna put this down. There are two things that I learned about the Mercia Largo whilst I was away. And that came from Instagram DMs it also came from Barry. So the first thing that I learned about my car is when I was trying to distinguish what exhaust system I had on the car, because I was used to hearing LP640 stock fairly quiet. The UK cars are fairly quiet. One thing that I completely disregarded is that my car started its life in Singapore, where the emissions are totally different, the regulations are totally different, meaning that it actually didn't have secondary cats, US cars, and I believe UK cars, potentially European cars, all needed to have four cats. So two primary cats and two secondary cats. Whereas that car only had primary cats, meaning that it had pipes instead of secondary cats, which is one of the reasons why it's slightly louder than the UK stock cars. So the video that I made saying that the car was entirely stock is true, but it's louder than what we are known to have stock cars in Europe. The second thing that we learned is actually Barry learned it. So whilst he tapes up the car, I'm gonna go over and ask him, what was the, was it a pipe or a valve or a vacuum pipe? A vacuum pipe. For the exhaust valves was split. Was split, so. Valves are always open. So actually, not only was my car slightly more straight piped than a UK European car because it didn't have the secondary cats, the vacuum, vacuum pipe, the vacuum pipe was split in the old age of this beast being on the road, meaning that the valves were always open. So when I took the car here and we were revving it, there was no closed and open. And one thing that I said to both of these guys was every time that I drive it, I never hear the valves opening or closing. It's just loud all of the time, even on idle, it's just gurring everywhere that I go. So the two things that I learned about the exhaust system is, that it is a much louder than stock and the valves weren't working. So now that Brook Race Exhaust have got my exhaust, they're scanning it through and they're doing all of the relevant tests to then start building my custom Inconel exhaust system. And it is gonna sit up there until that exhaust system is done. The clutch will be replaced, which I'm not entirely sure that I'm gonna be here to film, but once the clutch is replaced, the engine goes back in and then the exhaust can get put back on the car and then it will be ready for the road, ready for the tunnels and ready for action. Once, once the exhaust is done, then everything is gonna get fitted back together. The clutch and the exhaust are all gonna go back on the car at the same time. On the 31st of October, the 31st of October this month is the exact 10 year anniversary to Supercars of London. So what is gonna happen? The full unveiling of the sound, the look and everything else of that on the road and my first drive of my final Mercialago LP640 will be on the YouTube channel and uploaded on the 31st of October to celebrate 10 years from the start of the channel up until exactly 10 years since the channel started. Everything that I have done up until that point has led to the moment of my Lamborghini Mercialago LP640 being on the road ready for the roads, ready for the tunnels, ready for the road trips. It is gonna be the best video I think I could ever celebrate my Supercars of London YouTube channel from. Right now, I'm now gonna film this car whilst Barry is working on it. There is something very exciting happening. So you stay tuned for that video. I believe it's probably gonna come in about 48 hours, but there we go. Lamborghini Murcielago LP640 engine is out clutch has arrived and it is in a box in front of the engine 
and it is going to be fitted up. Brook Race Exhaust, I will be waiting for their update so that the exhaust can get fitted on that car. And the 31st of October 2018, 10 years to the day since I started Supercars of London, that car is going to be driving on the road. Myself and a few other people are going to be tunnel hunting and sharing with you guys not only what that car looks like on the road, but how it sounds. It is going to be the first one in the world with this custom Inconel exhaust system from Brook Race Exhaust. It's the first exhaust system that they've made. So even on YouTube, there is nothing to go by in terms of reference of what it is going to sound like. So I cannot wait to hear it. I've heard some pretty awesome examples of Mercia Largos, but I believe this is going to be the best setup that has ever existed. I will leave it there. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more Mercialago content, but in the meantime, I'm heading to Dubai for the next seven days, and there are gonna be some very, 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 very fun activities and supercars going on. But before then, there's a video on that hurricane. So make sure you stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you soon. Take care, guys, goodbye.